I'm very glad to meet you. Thank you. That's very kind. This is not the first time that you're coming here in Morocco. And let's say that Morocco is loving you. Why? Morocco. Uh, I love this country. I, I, uh, I've played here many times. I've played Mawazin many times, which is a big festival. Tonight is a bit different because it's a jazz festival, and so it's a lot more intimate, um, which is great because I've never been able to do a show like this here. And uh, also, I'm a huge fan of traditional, uh, you know, Northern African music and the Berber culture, and I spent months studying Berber culture and Berber music. So it's um, it's a country that uh, often, I think, as a tourist or as a foreigner, you just think of, you know, Medina in Marrakesh, or maybe a day trip to Rabat, or maybe a, a night in Eureka, but actually it's so much more than that. Of course, also here in Morocco, loves you so much. I love also use your music, and your music is a bit, let's say, different. Sometimes I hear like inspiration from Freddie Mercury or other kind of of music. How did you choose and get in this? You know, um, my music is is a little bit different because I started in classical music, but I'm I'm the son of a Lebanese Syrian woman and an American father who grew up all over the world, including Cairo and Lebanon. Um, and so I'm this mix of like Savannah, Georgia, New York, France, Lebanon, the Middle East, Italy, I I Italy, a, a little bit Italy, but it's um it's really uh it's, I think it's this this eclecticism that is kind of engraved into me and there's no way of getting rid of it and it, it always finds its way out in, in the music that I make and also a certain kind of oriental uh, temperature you can say in the stuff that I do maybe that's why I love songs that make you uh, you know cry and dance at the same time if that's not an oriental spirit I don't really know what is we all well we are orientals with our spirits and we love this kind of feeling also but this guy people discovered you discovered you also in France and we heard some songs in French uh, music a lot of your albums were in English were we going to see anything in French soon yes I mean uh, vrai, je vais en okay it's true so I will respond to you in French I've done a few songs in French but I've never done a whole album I'm in the process of putting one together right now and it will be ready very soon it's a big challenge one or two songs in French that's one thing but a whole album takes much much more I really lost myself in this project but I lost myself in a good way I'm becoming really proud of it and I can't wait to share it with you so we'll finish this in French you're a well-rounded artist you're a singer you're a composer where do we see the real Mika Honestly, I feel really at ease on stage, and you're going to see that tonight. I think I feel really at ease making music, because when I make music, I can do it for the whole world. And we find a kind of universal language. It's the universal nature of music. I think if I wasn't surrounded by the sound of music, I would be surrounded by dogs, cows and horses, or the sea, one or the other. Okay, final question. Cooking and music? Uh, cooking, oh, wait, wait, wait. the truth is, I just like to... I like to eat. I I have uh, so many friends who are good cooks, and that's not by accident because I like them to m to make me food. <laughs>